Mm-hmm. We gonna take this inside? I got you right where I want you. Really? Might have to take this hand, take it deep in your pocket and get the key. You don't open the door. Oh, Incoming! <laughs> Well, 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 looks like somebody else had the same idea. Like a good old-fashioned wedding to get people in the mood, huh? <laughs> you two planning on sealing the deal tonight? Hmm? We are having a nightcap. Oh, one nightcap. Did you hear that, Elijah? My dear cousin's having a nightcap with her new boyfriend. Uh, Reed is an old friend, Blair. Not even her boyfriend. You completely surprised me, Kelly. Ex-wife, mother. Having a nightcap. <gasps> and a menage a trois. What's up, Sean? What's up, Miss Cream? <laughs> <laughs> good. You three have a very good time. <laughs> that was pretty slick what you did back there at the wedding, giving me the slip. Sean, I'm sorry. I, I have a job doing... to do. And I'm not letting you out of my sight. So how's that truce going with your cousin? Come on, Elijah. I'm just having a little fun with Kelly. But that's who we are. I mean, we're just... A lot alike. Well, I am uh, definitely smarter, better looking, and way more talented. I mean, come on. She wanted to sing at Bo and Nora's wedding. I did her a favor by stepping in there tonight. Actually, Blair, you did yourself a favor really? by proving to one and all that you can conduct yourself like a lady in public. Oh, now, Counselor, do we need to call a truce here? Ooh, you can take it. Yeah, and who told you that? Nobody. I just know. Because I know you. Hmm. It's been so long. Question. What? At the wedding, did you Ooh. think about anything? The honeymoon? <laughs> <laughs> what about marriage? You ever think about that? I thought we left you at reception, Sean. No, you mean you tried to get me to slip. Sorry, son. Dr. Lord hired me to keep Kelly safe. She's perfectly safe with me. We're just gonna have a nightcap. In your room? No, in the corridor, Sean. Yes, in my room. Now, if you wouldn't mind hurrying along. I'm not going anywhere. Suit yourself. You okay with Sean outside the door? Please tell me you don't feel frightened. Frightened? No, no. Maybe a little embarrassed. Why? Well, let's look at the fact that uh, Blair and Sean both seem to think there's more to this nightcap than a little brandy in a glass. And they'd be right. I didn't invite you to my room for a drink, Kelly. I don't have to think about marriage because I've been married many times, Elijah. You? Never. Come on, Blair, you know that. I, I've thought about it once. Maybe twice, but uh, it didn't feel right. You know that thing that, that you're supposed to feel, that, that click, mm -hmm. when everything starts to make sense and you suddenly can't imagine your life without that other person? Well, you've always had your career. I've been busy, it's true. Mm -hmm. But it's more than that, actually. I never felt the need. Well, then you're lucky. <laughs> But I do now. What do you mean? You, Blair. This feels right. I mean, everything's falling into place. Uh, are you proposing to me? Proposing, you'd know it. Wow. Good. Good, because you, you scared me there for a minute. Uh, Why? I've been married before. Yes, I have many times. More than I can probably count on his hand, and most of those times have been to Todd, and you know they were a disaster. I am not Todd. You are proposing to me. No, 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 I'm, I'm scouting. Yes, I'm getting a lay of the land. Well, so I'm not going down that road again. Well, if that's true, Blair, then we have a problem. Don't you think it's a little soon? I mean, this is this is only our second date. Third, if you count the time in London when I poured my heart out to you and you rejected me flat. That doesn't count. Uh, why not? Because I was living 
with my ex-husband, and we were trying to keep the family together. And, you know, I think dating you, that, that just probably, that would have never worked. And now? With Zane in boarding school and your ex an ocean away. I didn't come here just for a drink. Start in. When I get married. Someday. But if you don't, then I need to know. Now. Before I get in any deeper. I think that's only fair. You're right. It is. It is fair. And I certainly don't want to deprive you of all the agonies of marriage. I mean, of course, there's always divorce, uh, custody battles, property settlement. Again, it's... not Todd. No, you're not. I didn't quite figure you the marrying kind, though. Go to the right woman. Okay. How's this? Since you're not ready to propose and I'm not ready to walk down the aisle, how about this? Would you settle for maybe I'll think about it uh, in the future, but only to you, so don't let the word get out. Hmm. You took a mighty big risk then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell it to my heart. Oh, my God. I don't want to lose you. <laughs> Shall I notify housekeeping? Later. cousin and her over-enthusiastic boyfriend. No. No. No, that, that, that isn't it. It's just... Sean is right outside the door. It's just making me feel a little weird. If I'm not your cup of tea. No, no, no you are. You are. You, you are. <laughs> I've always been attracted to you. It's just... Too much too soon. Yes. Do you mind? Not at all. How about that nightcap? On all the night, she 